Onyx undoubtedly releases more e-ink tablets than any other company. Look how many they have in their lineup. Not only that, they have all these Russian variations and other variations for specific marketplaces. And they provide the units for various other white labelers around the world. So it's not so surprising that Onyx is releasing these little tiny incremental upgrades. To be completely honest, there isn't a whole lot that sets this apart from the Nova 3. A lot of the people have been griping about that, and you are accurate spec for spec they are the same but what are the differences we're gonna go over to the chalkboard to give you a little bit of an idea of how it is different than the previous generation and then we'll move into the review itself so if you compare the specs alone, they are identical. It's basically like the Oasis 2 upgrading into the Oasis 3. It's a marginal upgrade, but you would be surprised that there's actually a few things that lurk just beneath the surface. First off, it is white, and it's using an all-new shell. It's a more squared-off shell, kind of kicking back to the Poke 2 kind of thing, rather than it being contoured. You also get the Air Pen. Not only that, it's a brand new Air Pen, and it's in white. The Air Pen comes with the conical nibs that give you a little bit better accuracy. In fact, if you were to buy the air pen separately, it is $49.99 USD, so it is a great deal that you get it with the device itself. The back is also very nicely textured and upgraded to be a lot more rigid. It's also 30 grams lighter, and it's smaller, shorter, and thinner in every dimension than the previous generation. This one also comes with three copper contact pins on the left side of the unit, that actually allow you to put a magnetic case that we'll show you in a bit that has physical page turn buttons on it. So despite people thinking it is not worth the upgrade, there are several reasons to make the plunge. The Nova Air. An incredibly well-built and high-quality compact e-ink tablet. Bundled with an all-new premium stylus with some of the highest accuracy in the business. Stereo speakers, Google Play, Wacom note-taking, and an all-new screen layer give you an amazing writing feel. An accessory port to accommodate peripherals like the all-new magnetic case with page turn buttons, and a paint spattered backing giving you high grip. The Nova Air screams quality. Everything from the construction to the usability makes this potential to be the one true all-in-one e-paper tablet. So let's dive a little bit deeper. We will be doing an individual video on this case, but needless to say, it is very nice. All you do is slide it in like that. You can close it. It offers you to have a sleep capabilities and you snap the pen on the side. And this is just about as good as a e-reader slash e-note is going to be from a quality perspective. Once you slap that open, you can go into a book like so and start using the physical page turn buttons. Another good thing about this is it requires no calibration. You can literally just snap it on and it works instantly. You don't have to set anything up. The home screen on the Onyx is relatively unchanged over the last generation. You have your things on the side, library store, notes, storage, apps, and settings. If you swipe the top down, that's where you're getting all your quick access to your display control, your glow light, which we'll show you later, and your volume control. You also have some things like Bluetooth, split screen, finger touch, etc. You can edit these as well and choose what you do and do not want to show at the top. You can drag the tiles over to the top if you want to add the navigation ball at etc. Because it has no physical buttons on the unit, swiping up from the bottom is your back. So if you're into something like settings, you can swipe up from the bottom and it will go back. Your navigation ball is here by default and it is very nice. It will actually conform itself to whatever side you're on. So if you're on the bottom, it's going to give you a little rainbow like that. So it's never cut off. You can toggle this on and off in the settings menu. Because this is running Android 10 with Google Play, it's pretty much limitless. What you see here, gallery, calculator, calendar, email, this is just the stuff that is preloaded on here. In fact, you can actually remove these and uninstall them or move them into other groups respectively if you long press. So much like an Android tablet, which this is, except it's running an e-ink screen, you can download a lot of apps on here and use them to your heart's content. 
Onyx does have a bookstore. It is pretty much just a lot of royalty free content. It'd be a lot of classic stuff, no copyright issue content, and there will be a lot of Chinese content as well on this unit because they are primarily a Chinese company, but they have an international presence. Additionally, they do have an app store. Now, unfortunately, Onyx is an amazing brand, but their app store is not good. They only have 48 apps on their app store. But to their credit, they do have Google Play enabled on this device as well. Because of its stereo speakers, you do have the ability to use this as a music player as well. Loading content into the device into the root will automatically organize everything. So if you put things into the root, it'll put everything into image, documents, download, etc. Please stay tuned to our YouTube channel for a full writing experience on this, but they do have five different pens, pen, paintbrush, mechanical, pencil, highlighter, a ton of different lines when it comes to graphing and drafting. You can choose different lines for different situations with different breaks as well. You can even do squiggles and arrows in any thickness you want. Six geometric shapes right out of the gates come bundled on this unit so you can make perfect shapes every single time. Text conversion is very easy. All you do is write on the screen and when you click the AI button or the A cursor, you can do two things. You can do original recognition, which it will just basically do it right where it is on the screen. From there, you can bold, italicize, underline, or even share it. Or you can go back and you can do reflow recognition, in which case it's going to justify everything to the top left corner so you can continue on using the keyboard down below. It is a conventional QWERTY keyboard with a little bit of stacking where the Q and the A is. Usually Q and the A are staggered, but in this case it is stacked on top of each other. From here you can continue your dictation or you can use voice recognition as well. I am taking notes on this device with my voice. Furthermore, you can take notes with your handwriting as well. So if I write a P on the screen, a P is going to show up right there, a lowercase e, etc, etc. So this is very nice too if you want to get a little bit more of a personalized feel to it. Layers is very useful as well. You have multiple layers with a template layer as well. So if you select a layer like this and you go to the eraser and maybe you want to choose stroke eraser and you erase everything, you're actually only erasing the layer you're working on and everything else remains completely safe. So this is very nice if you've just drawn something and you don't want to wreck everything beneath it. You can insert images as well which is very handy. So you can go down here, select something, throw it onto there and you can go ahead and change it, move it around, click out of it and then you can start altering it right on the page. So this is very nice if you want to just throw something on there and you don't want to draw it from the ground up or maybe someone has saved an image and sent something to you, you can continue it from there. Now the screen is glass, but what they do is they bake on a screen protector that is non-removable. I mean, if you pry it, it will remove, but you do not take it off because it has a certain level of grit on there. Now it is still rather slippery. It's not as sticky as say a Fujitsu or a Super Note, so you do get a little bit of slipperiness to it so it's not the greatest feeling in the world but it is definitely top three as you write with the air pen you do feel a little bit of vibration through the pen so the harder you push the more evident that grit is going to be. It does feel nice and this pen really does do it justice. This pen was originally only available on the Note Air, but now it is on the smaller form factor and it is a very good addition. 
To be completely honest, PDFs never look good on a 7.8. It's just too small. If you just compare it against two of my hands here, it's it's just too small of an experience for a full 8.5 by 11 piece of paper or magazine. It, it can do it. It is nice. All the functionality is still there. You can take notes right away, but it is very small. If you wanted something that is catered more towards using PDFs every day, I would definitely consider getting the 10.3 or above. Incidentally, Manga looks amazing on 7.8 because Manga is specifically 7.8 inches, at least in Japan. So as you turn pages, uh, it is going to come down to how well the file is formatted from the get-go, but it is quite nice. It's very clear, and because the screen has a screen protector over it, you actually get not only good writing feel, but a reduction in glare. There are no complaints when it comes to the reading experience, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever, and this is the Neo Reader which comes bundled with the unit. If you don't want to use it, you can simply go to Google Play and download anything you want. Split screen mode is a nice addition to have, but it's honestly not that useful on such a small screen. You really don't get the screen real estate you get on a 10.3. It does work well enough. You can take notes, you can go over to your book, you can read your book while you take notes. That's all great, but the icons end up being really, really small and condensed. Albeit you can do it, it's just not big enough of a screen to make it viable. So in the end, is the Onyx Books Nova Air worth it? It it really comes down to what you want. If you want color, look completely away because this doesn't have color. But if you want a very refined looking device and something built really well, this is one of the best built devices we've seen in a long time. Everything from its tactile feel on the back to the design elements to the, well, the white color, but it's silver gray, I think they're calling it, and this all new pen. Everything about this feels so premium from head to toe and they have a premium magnet case. A lot of it is incremental upgrades that they just kept the same internals but what they did on the outside is a really big thing and it is a lot different than the previous gen and the body is as well if you want to grab this it is available on our store at goodyreader.com blog shop and for another review this is peter <laughs>